class. Welcome to class online school. You know, today's class we'll be discussing composition. Composition. What do we mean by composition? A composition is a short or long piece of writing of a particular subject or topic. Composition is what? It is a short or a long piece of writing about what? A particular subject or topic. Composition deals with what? Writing. Composition deals with what? Writing. And your writing could either be in a short form or a long form. The piece of writing could either be in a short form or a long form. What are you writing about? You are writing about a subject or a topic. That is composition. Composition is what? A short or long piece of writing or about what a particular subject or topic that means in a composition for us to have a composition you must have something to write about there must be a topic for you to write about composition no composition deals with what it deals with writing and your writing could either be in a short form or a long form it could either be a short piece of writing or a long piece of writing basically we have four types of composition basically we have four types of composition we have the narrative composition argumentative composition expository composition and argumentative composition we have descriptive composition narrative composition expository composition and argumentative writing now we're going to take everything one after another we have what the narrative composition when you're asked to write about what an event narrative composition does with what in this writing the writer tells us about an event you are talking about an event or a story how it took place or happened narrative as the name connotes it means what you are trying to what narrate an event you witnessed you are trying to what explain to us an event the way an event occurred how it happened narrative composition it was is the writing that deals with us that tells us how an event or a story happened how an event or a story happened and you are going to what explain how it happened we might have what examples examples of the topic that may fall under this category notes that you might have they might be asked a um, series of questions but you should be able to what differentiate narrative composition descriptive composition argumentative composition and expository composition now narrative composition no it deals with you what narrating an event or a story how it occurred we have some examples. We have my first day at school. You are going to explain to us your experience at school, what you witnessed, what happened to you at school. So that it is with a narrative essay. You are going to narrate. You are writing, you are narrating what happened to you. You are going to narrate the story, how it happened, the events that occurred on that day, first day at school. We have another example, a day I will never forget. A day I will never forget is also what a narrative composition. Because you are narrating to us what happened to you on that day. That will make you not to forget that particular day. The last one, a fight at school. You could also have another essay, a fight at school. What happened? What brought about the fight? Who, who, which people were involved in the fight? Who was involved in the fight? So, this kind of narrative composition, it is we have lots more. There are more essays, an arm robbery um, attack I, got, I witnessed. How the bank was robbed. You have many things to talk about. And know that when writing about this narrative essay, you are going to what? explain to us you are going to what, talk about how an event happened or 
took place. Now we're going to move to the next composition. We're talking about the descriptive composition. The descriptive writing. When we're talking about the descriptive writing, this is a composition that aims at giving a direction or description to someone about a person, a place, or a thing. What am I trying to say? You are going to what? You are trying to describe a person, a place, or a thing to someone else. So the person could have what? A clear picture about what you are talking about. And this place or thing you are trying to what? talk about, the writer is expected to describe what he or she knows. You are going to what? Describe it the way you know the particular thing. The way you know the particular place or the way you know the particular person. Know that in this descriptive writing, you are describing what? You could describe a person, a place, or a thing. And now, this is composition that aims at giving what? You are giving direction or description. It could be my grandmother. You describe your grandmother to us. I don't know, I might not know your grandmother. But the way you describe your grandmother to me, I'm going to what? have a clear picture about that particular person you're talking about. Maybe how the person would look like. Now we have some examples in what? Under the descriptive writing. We have an important festival in my town. An important festival in my town. I might be asked to write about my important, an important festival in my town. I will go about what? To describe about the what? The festival. Describe the masquerade. Describe everyone who what? Who participate in the what? In the festival. Through this, I will be able to have what? Someone else will be able to have clear picture of how that festival, how the masquerade, how every other person involved looks like. Now we also have my village town and city. Remember I said direction. Descriptive writing, you are going to what? Aim I'm giving what? Direction or description. Now you are going to give description about a village, town or city. And now my dog. I might not know the dog, but you describing the dog to me, how the dog looks like, the size of the dog, everything it will help me to have what, a clear picture about the dog you're talking about my best food describing what your best food how to prepare your best food now we have my best teacher you describing what your best teacher my grandmother like i said earlier you're talking about what your grandmother full description about the particular person my best subject and etc. Know that narrative essay deals with what? Narrative essay deals with what? Narration of what? Events. You narrating a particular story or event, how it happened or occurred. But descriptive writing deals with what? It deals with giving of direction or description about a person, a place or a thing. And I've given you examples of what you could describe. Grandmother, dog, your village, best teacher, your best subject, your best food, etc. Now we're going to move to the next composition. We have the expository composition. Wow. Expository composition. What do we mean by expository composition? It is a process of explaining a particular issue. So, as to enable the readers to understand what you're talking about. Expository composition deals with what? Explaining a particular issue. So as to for uh, so as to enable the reader to understand what you are trying to pass across. To, to write this essay, you need what? Present facts. You need what? Present facts, not just an assumption. You need what? A present fact evidence to prove your writing you must have something a evidence was to prove your writing 
and profess solution. There must be solution to what you are talking about. Now let's go to the examples of expository composition. We have causes of road accidents. Remember, I said you must have what facts. That means you must have witnessed an accident. And you witnessing an accident, so you have what? An evidence. This is what happened. And you must be able to what? Profess solution. You tell us the causes of the accident. What caused the accident? So now, what causes road accident? Could it be um, reckless drivers? Could it be the bad road? You have a lot of things to write about. So now, you're writing about causes of road accident. You must be able to what? Profess solution to the road and um, to causes of road accidents. What do you think the government can do about it? What do you think? Is it for them to what to amend the damaged road? Is it for us to have the traffic wardens? So we what we must be able to profess solution to this kind of composition. You list out the causes, tell us the accident you witnessed and what profess solution to the causes of road accidents. Also, why students fail examination? Maybe why students fail English language in their examination or why students fail mathematics in their examination? What could cause it? There should be evidence. Maybe you've seen someone who failed the examination. Maybe there is some attributes the person had that was led to the failure of such person. Maybe lack of reading, inability to understand the teacher, is it lack of good facilities at school? You should be able to know what. I have an evidence what causes this particular thing. Why do students fail it? There should be a research. Why do students fail this particular thing? And when you write about that, what? You must be able to what? Profess solution to it. That is, solution to what? To this failure. What do you think they can do? Is it to build more libraries? To encourage the students to get qualified teachers? Maybe more guidance and counseling offices should be what should be opened up at school. Then you should be able to what profile solution to that particular right there. And the next one we have courses of examination malpractice. What causes examination malpractice? See parents. Parents pay for their children in order to engage in examination malpractice. The teacher also help in that. So what do you think they can do about it? So now you must be able to work out facts, evidence, and what profile solution. Lastly, we have why there is corruption in our society. What causes corruption in the society? All these are examples of what expository composition. We have lots more. So this composition deals with what? Writing. And this writing, you are trying to explain a particular issue. You are trying to what? explain a particular issue so as to enable the reader to what? understand what you are talking about. I said causes of road accidents, why students fail examination, causes of examination malpractice, why there is corruption in our society, etc. We have lots of examples on what expository composition now we'll move to the fourth composition argumentative composition